Good morning, everybody. It's me, Santi. I got one more for you. First, I will say happy St. Patrick's Day. Today's St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing green. I'm not wearing green because it's St. Patrick's Day. But you all know where I work at. So, um, really quick one. Short one. But a different one. Um, because today, old diorama, new figures, but not their same figures as always. Um, give me one second. We're going to show you right now. Boom. Sorry, I had to turn it sideways so that I can get all the guys looking in there. I mean, all the, the figures. But we're going to go through them one by one. Now, these are not, as you can see, one six scale. These are the one twelfth scale uh, Vietnam figures. They are obviously six inches tall. They are all, most of them, except for this guy. But these are all from the movie um, geez, Platoon. Okay, all these guys are from the movie Platoon. Um, and I'll introduce them here in a second. Now, let's start off with this guy here. This guy, uh, is supposed to be Elias. Right? Um, I like the way they look. Everything I had to put together, you gotta put it all on. Alice back, like he's got a 45, he's got two canteens. Uh, some little pouches there, which could be rounds or, you know, medical or something. He's got grenades. Um, he's got a bandolier with more ammo. Um, he's got a little K-bar in there too, a black K-bar, you can see it. Here, if I, uh, You can see the K-bar there. The E-tool with the bayonet. His Alice pack. Um, and I might be wrong, but I think these were like a... The Vietnamese Army... The Vietnamese Army variant? Because they were... they are two pockets. And all the U.S. Alice packs had three pockets. If it was a large Alice pack, it had three pockets on the bottom. And three pockets on the top. Um, such as... This guy's Alice pack. You see, he's got three pockets there. One, two, and three. So his Alice pack is a medium Alice pack. The large Alice hat pack, um, the large Alice pack would have had these three pockets, which is one, two, and three. Let's go here, let me get, change it, I'm sorry. One, two, and three. Would have had three pockets, and then right above it, there would have been three smaller uh, pockets. Um, if you give me a second, I'll show you a little better. Hold on. This here is a large Addis pack. Here's one pocket. Here's pocket number two. And here's pocket number three. Obviously, it says US on it. But, you know, it's large because here are the other three pockets. Okay. Here's one more pocket here. One. Pocket number two. And pocket number three so these are the large ones that um like i said large alice packs okay good packs um they had a lot of stuff in them you can carry a lot of stuff in them this one has a frame a lot of people didn't use the frame um because well, i guess they just didn't like it i like the frame sometimes it has this little pad on, on your waist. Um, you can carry your stuff. Now, of course, these are not the originals because these are woodland and this is olive drabs. My originals broke. This pack is a little bit old. Um, I'm dating myself, but I joined the Marine Corps in 1982, so this is what we used. The frame, aluminum. The K-bars, obviously more modern, but you know what? K-bar and I like it <laughs> so anyway this is a, a large Alice pack they were used all throughout the Vietnam War and shit they're still good today you know these things are still really good uh, packs to use but I digress boom let's go back to these guys so like I said this is Elias. OK. 
okay? This is Elias. He's um in his I'm gonna kill everybody mode. I tried to get him like when he was running through the trees and stuff like that. But that's Elias. Here, wait, let me cut. Okay, uh, I changed my mind. This guy here, can you guess? Taylor, that's right. This is Taylor. Um, another Alice pack. Same stuff, E-Tool, canteens, um, magazines. He's got a big old machete. They used to cut through the brush and stuff like that. Some grenades. Um, in this pack here, he has stuff for the, uh, shoot, I forgot what they call it. Um, the little mine that they put there and three clicks, it turns everybody, it, you got to click the handle three times and, and it'll blow up. Um, but he's all, he also has that. See that weapon right there? That is the M79 grenade launcher, also known as the thumper. Why? Because when you shoot it, it just goes doop, like that. <laughs> it just made a little thumpy noise, doop, and it would shoot out the uh, 40 millimeter grenade. The grenade. This old M16, probably the A1 because it has the forward assist there that you can see. Um, give me a second. We'll go into that. Okay. If you look right, doggone it, Taylor, behave. You look right here. It's hard to see. Let's see if I go this way. You might see it better. Yeah, you see that little part that sticks out there? That's, um. Shoot, I can't even describe it. I don't even know how to describe it. But. It's this little thing that's right here. That little thing it's called a forward assist that's how you know that it's the uh, <clears throat> m16a1 because i think the original m16s did not have that the original m16s didn't have it ah, i remembered <laughs> i'm a little snow claymore mines these are the claymores that are in this backpack right there okay <clears throat> the claymores you set them up a little bit away from where you were and um with the with the the wire that's connected to it slash wire um, they call it a slash wire. It's this little black wire that they connect from the, the claymore to the um, the igniter. It's like a little handle. Um, you press the click, you click it three times, click, 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 boom. And when you click it the third time, it sends the electrical charge and blows everything up. It blows up the claymore, that uh, fragmentation, stuff like that. So he could be there and he puts the claymore, the claymore somewhere over here. And so when he blows it up, it has a thing on it that says, you know, um, face this way or point in this direction and it'll blow up in whatever direction you want to, you place those words um, so again that's Taylor this guy this is King King um, let me fix his pocket here you see that give me one second okay hold on okay so there goes King <laughs> You know it's King. You can tell who that is. Right? Like he's in, He even has the gold tooth that he had in the movie. I think that is pretty awesome. He's got his bandoliers. He has the 240 Bravo or the M60 machine gun or what else did they call it? The pig or the hog? I like that. That's a very nice weapon. That's a very nice. I like that it's put together really cool. In here. He has another uh, 200 rounds, I guess. There's his K-Bar, magazines for his 45 magazines in there, I guess, you could say, for his M16. I mean, for his, uh, maybe first take or whatever, and his butt pack. His butt pack, and of course, two canteens. You know, I really like the, of course, the do-rag, to keep the head. <laughs> I really like the way they made these guys, you know. Um, look at this. Let me see if I can get this on here. The helmet that they wear. The steel pot. 
They're probably bug juice on there. That's what they carry most of the time. Carry their bug juice and toothbrush. Um, where is he? Where is he? Let's put this back on his head. There he is. I have him up against the tree. Right? I like that. So that's King. So what do we got here? We have Elias. We have Taylor. And we have King. Right? This guy. Guess. This is Junior. Junior is the one that, um, he was kind of afraid he put the, the bug juice on his toes so that his, his feet can get messed up. And uh, Barnes told him that if he ever catches on putting bug juice, he's going to get the, uh, the, I don't know, the worm or the centipede and put it on his toes and stuff like that. But, it's the same thing. He's got a 45, he's got a sidearm right here. Whoops, let me fix that. He's got the sidearm, he's got a magazine pouch, he's got some grenades canteens and the uh, bayonet and the e-tool plus this in here are uh, rounds the grenades for the 40 millimeter that Tyler's carrying the Taylor's carrying not Tyler Taylor you know um, he also is wearing a flag jacket the others are not wearing a flag jacket okay they're just uh, I can't focus it I'm sorry He's wearing a flag jacket, you can see from the front. But that's Taylor, there's his flag jacket and his pistol belt and stuff like that, okay? I like that, I like these guys, they look really cool. For being so small, hell yeah. Let's get him back to where he was. So that's four of them, right? One, two, three, four. This guy. Whoops. Who's this guy? Let's fix that brain bucket. This, can you tell by the scar on his face? That's Barnes. <laughs> That's Sergeant Barnes. He's the one that killed Elias, uh, and then and cut Taylor's face inside the the, the bunker. Um, again, the 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 pack, the bayonet, um, canteens, his forty five, all the basic stuff, you know. But he has an M four. Okay, or well, now well, a carbine, carbine, however you want to pronounce it. And he also has a. Uh, uh, ammo pack, an ammo, you know, bad thing. The um, for the rounds climbing up here. Let's see. I'm trying to get him to stand up to make it look like he's climbing onto the onto the beach or onto the um the bank of the of the little stream here. Yikes, dog on it. It's difficult, but if you play with it a little bit, you can get them to do what you want them to do. Give me one second here. Hold on. All right. So there he is. So there we have it. We have Elias, Taylor, Junior, King, and Barnes. This guy. This guy has no name. I think they just threw him in there for, for uh, shirts and giggles. But uh, what he came out as is as um, uh, Marine. 
I don't know. Not too many Marines wear um, berets in combat. But, so, I took it off him. I don't have an extra brain bucket to put on him. He came in with that. I don't like it. But, um, I do think the figure looks kind of cool. Don't point at me. It's rude. But I like it. Um, he's got some smoke. He's got some, some, I don't even know what they're called. Some more smoke, I guess, in there. Let's see if we can open that up. Yeah, it's got some purple smoke and some red smoke, as you can see, which I think is pretty cool. And then the same old stuff. He doesn't have a, a uh, uh, what do you call that, an Ito, but that's all right. Got a grenade there, two canteens, another grenade, a third grenade, and a fourth grenade. Um, I like this guy. He wasn't in the movie. But what the hell, I'll put them on there anyway. Minus that stupid beret. You know? Hmm. What happened there? What happened there? <laughs> anyway so everybody this is it okay another quick one well not quick one sorry it took a little long but this is them crawling through the brush again following the point man up there who since he's standing out in the open just might get smoked if he doesn't hide himself. And that's it. There we have it. All right, everybody. Thank you for all for watching the real quick one. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a rehash of the diorama part of the rehash, but the troops are new. I kind of like them like that. Look, small, not as easy to maneuver, uh, not as easy to put together, because they all have a lot of little parts. Uh, the Alice pack you have to put it together. The the uh, canteens you got to put on the pistol belt and all that kind of stuff. So you got to be careful you don't break it. And with these stubby damn things, they break everything. But that's it. All right. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, leave a comment leave a comment and and let me know whoops I'm sorry I'm trying to fix this guy here he fell over but as I said leave a thumbs up leave a like leave a comment let me know what you thought and uh, we'll go from there guys all right this is Santi and I'm out